Hi everyone, today I am going to demonstrate an experiment called Young's Modulus Sum. So the aim of the experiment is to determine the Young's Modulus of the material of the beam by the method of uniform bending. Now let us see first what is Young's Modulus or Elastic Modulus. So according to Hooke's law, for an elastic material within the elastic limit, the, the stress applied is directly proportional to the strain. That is, stress by strain is a constant. So that constant is known as elastic modulus. If the stress applied on the material is along the length, then it is called longitudinal stress. And if the change in the dimension is produced is along the length, then it is called longitudinal strain. So this longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain is a constant and that is known as Young's modulus. Now let us see how to determine that using the experiment. Now let us see the setup of the experiment. So operators required is a long wooden scale, two knife edges and two weight hangers and slotted weights to add or increase or decrease the weights. Now let us see how to set up this. The long wooden scale is placed on two knife head, head supports and distance between the two knife edges must be kept constant and two weight hangers will be suspended on either side at an equal distances. Now the distance between the two knife edges is the length between the knife edges L and distance between the weight hanger and the knife head is X. So this is a 1 meter scale, total there are 100 centimeters. Let us keep one knife edge at a distance of 20 centimeter, the other side knife head is at 20 centimeter so that the distance between the two knife edges becomes 60 centimeters. And now let us keep the weight hanger at a distance of 5 cm from one end so that the x distance between the knife head and the weight hanger becomes 15 cm. This side also 15 cm. Okay. Now the scale is adjusted such that we can load the stress on either side uniformly so that the scale bends uniformly. So this is called uniform bending method. Now let us see how to measure the depression or elevation produced when we load it. So the elevation can be measured with the help of an instrument called travelling microscope. This is a travelling microscope which can be moved in two dimensions up down vertical motions left right motion therefore it is called a two dimensional traveling microscope. Now the readings are along the vertical direction. The elevation is produced along the vertical direction. So we take reading in the vertical scale. So we are not going to take any horizontal reading. So we use. Okay. Now let us see how to focus the microscope to the tip of the needle so that we can measure the elevation produced due to the load. So to do this, follow this easy method otherwise it would be difficult to focus it. And now you take the microscope very close to the tip of the needle. First you rotate the microscope screw and move it fully forward. Then slowly you take the microscope objective near the tip of the needle and align such that the tip will be at the center of the objective of the microscope. Okay, observe from sides and top so that it will be exactly at the center. Okay, after that rotate or take the microscope fully backwards and observe through the microscope. Slowly you retract the microscope so that you can see the clear image of the object needle. Adjust the microscope screw to get the clear image. Then use the screw to coincide the cross wire to the tip. Okay. 
now the apparatus is arranged such that the distance between the knife edges l is 60 cm and distance between the knife edge and the right angle x is 15 cm and the microscope is focused to the tip of the needle now let us see how to take reading and enter the reading into the tabular column now let us see how to take the reading with the instrument now before taking any reading we should know what is the least count of the instrument so the least count of the traveling microscope is value of 1 mst divided by total number of vst now let us see how to take reading with this scale this is a vernier type of the scale in which this long scale is known as the main scale and the short one is known as the vernier scale so to find the least count we should know what is the one main scale division value so in this long scale we should find out what is the value of one single smallest division on this we can observe that the 1 cm on this scale is divided into 20 parts that means each millimeter is two parts that is 1 mm is two parts so one part that is value of 1 msd is 0.5 mm or 0.05 cm so value of one main scale division on this scale is 0.05 cm and now we can say that on the vernier scale there are total 10 20 30 40 50 divisions are there so total number of vernier scale divisions is 50 so least count is value of an msd 0.05 cm divided by 50 so that is least count 0.001 cm okay now let us see how to take the reading now we have not added any weight in the weight hanger so for the zero weight we will see what is msr and cvd so to check the reading observe the reading through the lens and look straight to the scale now to get the msr observe the zero of the vernier scale where the zero of the vernier scale is crossed a division on the main scale is your msr and now in this case the msr is 10.75 and cvd is 30 so msr is 10.75 and cvd is 30 okay so after that next add 50 grams of weight on both sides of the weight hangers like this without disturbing the setup slowly add it and now if you observe through the microscope the tip of the needle is moved because of the load applied now coincide the tip once again with the help of the screw and now it is coincided now let us see what is the reading for 50 grams of weight Now the MSR is 10.9 and CVD is 6.06 Next add 50 more grams both sides are the weight angle slowly now due to the applied weight the tip of the needle is moved once again coincide it by adjusting the screw and now see what is the reading on the scale now it is Now the MSR is 
centimeters and cvd is 2 similarly we add 50 more grams on either side now the total weight becomes 150 grams for 150 grams weight see what is the reading now the msr is 11.15 and cvd is almost zero so let us write for 150 grams of weight load increasing side 11.15 and cvd is zero next add 50 more grams and coincide the tip then see what is the reading for this case the reading is 11.25 And CVD is 10. Okay, finally, we add last weight. Now 250 grams final. But this coincide the tip. And see what is the reading. So MSR is eleven point three five and CVD is eight. So MSR is eleven point three five CVD eight. Okay, so a two up to 250 grams of weight in the load increasing order we took the reading next the same reading of load increasing is written 11.35 and cvd is 08 for load decreasing also next remove 50 grams of weight either side now it becomes 250 200 grams and in the decreasing order now coincide the tip once again and see what is the reading. Now the MSR is 11.25 and the CVD is 16. So for 200 grams of weight 11.25 CVD is 16. Next remove 50 grams becomes 150 grams of weight. Now coincide it. See what is the reading. It is 11.15. And CVD is 3. It is 11.15. CVD is 3. Okay. Next, remove 50 grams. It becomes 100. Coincide the tip. And check the reading. MSR is 11. 
for 100 grams for 100 grams msr is 11 and cvd is 9 one more next so last 50 grams of milk coincide and now see what is the reading MSR is 11.9 and CVD is 20. Eleven point nine and C V D twenty. The last set of reading now we removed all the weights. Once again back to the zero coincide the tip and see what is the reading. So MSR is 11.75 and CVD is 26. So this is 11.75 and 26. Okay, now let us see how to do the calculation. So take a reading MSR CVD for all the weights for load increasing and load decreasing. Let us try to find the total reading. That is total reading is equal to MSR plus CVD into least count. So MSR for first case 10.75 and CVD is 35. Least count is 0 0.001 centimeter. So this one 10.75 plus 35 to 0 0.001 is 0 0.035. If we add both 10.7 and 5 plus 3, 8, 5 centimeters. So total reading is 10.785 centimeter. Use the same procedure to find all the readings. So this is 10.785. 7, 8, 5. So after taking reading, we will get all this set of readings. So these are the MSR, CVD and total reading. MSR, CVD, total reading for 0, 50, 100 and 150, 200, 250 readings. You have both load increasing and load decreasing readings. And now this is the reading for 0 weight in the load increasing case and this is the reading for the zero weight and the load decreasing case. Almost both the readings will be same. Take average mean of these two and write it here mean R1. And this is the mean value for 50 grams of weight and this is the mean reading for 100 grams of weight. Similarly for 150 grams of weight we will get mean reading R2 for 150 and 200 and 250 grams weight. So here you have R1 readings for 0, 50, 100 and R2 readings of 150, 200 and 250. Take the difference between R1 and R2, you will get the elevation for and weight of 150 grams. Similarly, difference between this and this will give you the elevation for a weight of 150 grams of weight. And next, difference between this and this reading will give you the elevation for a weight of 150 grams of weight. So you have got three values of elevation for a weight of 150 grams of weight. Take the average of all the three, you will get mean elevation for 150 grams of weight. So here y is 0 0.340 into 10 power minus 3 meter for a weight of m 150 grams. That is 150 into 10 power minus 3 kgs. Use this value to find 
the Young's modulus of the material. The formula is 3mgl square x by 2bd cube y. So all the list here given. M is the mass 150 grams of weight for an elevation y. And G is the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square. L is the distance between uh, two distance between two knife edges that is L 60 centimeters. And X is the distance between knife edge and weight angle that is 15 centimeters. And B and D are the breadth and thickness, breadth of the scale, wooden scale used that is given a constant and thickness D 5.4 10 power minus 3 meter that is also given. Use those values to find the Young's modulus. Let us see how to do the calculations. We have 3 mg L square x by 2 bd cube y. So let us enter numerator 3 into 150 grams that is 150 into this e is into 10 power so 10 to the power of minus 3 this is into 10 power minus 3 so 150 into 10 power minus 3 into 9.8 into 60 grams 60 into 10 power minus 2 and whole square is there. l square this is whole square into 15 into 10 power minus 2 x divided by for the denominator there are more number of terms open a bracket 2 into 2 into 2.9 into 10 power minus 2 into 5.4 into sorry 4 into 4 5.4 sorry 5.4 into 10 power minus 3 whole cube whole cube is this one into 0 0.340 10 power minus 2 close the bracket plus equal and get the answer to get in powers press this e and g button you will get 7.66 into 669 into 10 power 9. So this is 